Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager number RC BB1542 in a three and a half, three and a half inch size in a 32D finish, which means a couple of things. It means that this hinge is made of stainless steel and in a brushed satin finish. And here's what that hinge looks like. RC, radiused corner, 5 eighths on a 1542. BB, ball bearing. 1542 is going to give you that template pattern when it's a 3.5 inch hinge, a standard location. And we'll get to that in a moment. This is 3.5 by 3.5. And, and the SS just stands for stainless steel. 3.5 by 3.5. My client ordering these here in Florida stainless steel absolutely you're going to want stainless steel if it's even reasonably possible okay very nice looking attractive hinge being ball bearing is going to make it a very durable long lasting sort of hinge uh, if you were to look at a plain bearing hinge after 20 years of use even residential use and while 20 years is 20 years there is a noticeable amount of fatigue between the knuckles but when you throw a bearing packet into it, all of a sudden, your life expectancy is orders of magnitude longer. If you have a commercial application, don't mess with plain bearing. Just, just don't. Ball bearing's not much more expensive and significantly increases the life expectancy, my guess would be by a factor of two or three would be my guess. And this is a standard weight hinge where there are just two bearing packets. If it was a heavyweight hinge, not that you could get this in heavyweight, if it was, you'd have four bearing packets. Okay. Now, about the RCBB 1542, the summary information. It's a full priced per hinge. Buy one, get one. I think Hager requires these to be purchased in multiples of two because of how they package them. This is a full mortise hinge. You can see from the swag on the hinge leaf that when the leaves are brought parallel, they're meant to be mortised flush to the door and frame. You get that little gap inside there between the door and frame. This is a stainless steel hinge with a stainless steel pin. This can be driven out, so be mindful of that. You can probably get a riveted pin or a non-removable pin available in these. If you had an outside door that swung out, you would certainly want a removable pin. But if it's an interior application, um, and unless you have a, an, an actual measurable reason to prevent someone from pulling that pin out, I'd leave it a removable style pin you never know when you're going to need to pop a hinge off from the opposite side or the interior side um, 085 0.085 material thickness my caliper is telling me 0 0.091 5 8 radius very typical and very common when a residential wood door and frame manufacturer or, or, or one that makes entry doors as well when they're using an inch and a quarter diameter bit, it'll leave a 5 eighths radius. Um, inch and a quarter diameter bits are used uh, over half inch bits because you can make just a pass like that to evacuate all the material when you're prepping for hinges. If you had a half inch bit, which would leave a quarter inch radius, you're going to have to come back. Okay, so you at least have doubled the amount of tool path that you have to go through. But with an inch and a quarter bit, you can make it happen. And if they're inch and three-eighths doors, you're going to be awfully close to being able to do it in a single pass, even though not, not exactly. You know, in, over, and out, you might be able to make that work. Uh, removable pin, yes, I can drive that out if I wanted to. Ball bearing and five knuckle. One, two, three, four, five ball bearing. Six holes. This is a standard location for three and a half inch when it's called to or referred to as template pattern. Number nine screws are included they are also stainless there's a link below this video to a document called template that will give you the location of the holes for the RCBB 1542 along with other hinges from Hager that are three and a half okay they'll also show you the swag dimension on there giving you the 16th of an inch margin between the door and frame there's also a link below this video to a document called product catalog now that's handy because it will show you a whole slew of other residential type hinges from Hager, whose name is synonymous with hinges, Hager Hinge. Okay, 
However, they don't just stop at hinges, that's to be sure. Hager's name is synonymous with everything related to the door and frame, certainly in commercial applications, with the exception of the door and frame itself. Whether it be hinges, or lock sets, or exit devices, or door closers, or weather stripping, trim and auxiliary, uh, sliding door hardware, bypass, bifold, pocket door material, comprehensive provider, and I can tell you that Hager continues to evolve their line and has been for a while, I, decades. I can tell you that Hager has a very loyal following of not distributors like me, as much as customers themselves. You might have a situation where a customer is, Hager, no substitute. Uh, that's the brand I want. That's all there is to it. And I say, great, I have no qualm with that whatsoever. So finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Hager products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Hager RC, round corner, BB, ball bearing, 1542, three and a half, three and a half, and a stainless steel finish, or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.